All right, so here I am, I'm back. I'm ready to go, I've got everything rigged up. If you notice, uh, from the bottom of the rod, I've got about an additional three feet of line. It's not normally what I do. I usually like to have the bottom of the uh, line come maybe only a foot past because it's much easier to control. I need some extra length here to reach down this bank uh, to try to get this fish out. But this is what I've got for bait, folks. There it is, it's a flower blossom. Just like I said, now it's not a special flower blossom. I've tried this all over the world, or not all over the world, all over the country, Florida, Pennsylvania, Texas, Alabama, and I've always been able to get a little perch uh, to take flower. I don't know if they know it's a flower and they eat flowers or if they think it's a fly or a jig or whatever, but uh, let's see if we can get one here. What I'm doing with it, I'm jigging it, I'm letting it fall and rise, and I'm hitting this area here where this big cutout of the bank is. And I know the fish will hang in these cutouts. I know these things are in here. I, I even saw one a minute ago. It's just a, it's difficult sometimes to get them to take this. It requires a, there was a flash, one went out of there. Oh. And I've lost my one flower. So you know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to find another one. Let me pause the camera and I'll go dig another one out of the bush. I've got myself another flower here. We'll try this again and uh, just do a toss there. And I think I know where they're hiding now. And you just do a little bit of a flick to attract your attention. Strike. And slowly sink and twitch it. I wish I had a camera person here to help me with this because I could kind of show you what I'm doing more accurately. I know what you're thinking. This dude ain't gonna catch no, no uh, fish on a flower. I assure you, it can be done. You might wanna know how I figured this out. I have a little kid running around fishing and we had no money for bait. Ran out of bait, couldn't find any worms or bugs. We noticed that a lot of the little perch pop out a flower if it hit the water and we figured out we could do this. And I know this will work eventually. As you see, it takes a little doing, but even if you have no bait, even if you can't find any worms, anything like that, you can get small perch to hit just about anything, certainly a flower blossom. So there he is, it's no trophy, but there's definitely some meat on this guy. and. Uh, I'm curious now. Give me a minute to go get myself another flower. We'll send him back in there. We'll see if maybe we can find a different kind of fish. That was, I believe, what they call a, uh, a, a, a long ear sunfish. Or, yeah, it's a long ear sunfish. We'll see what else is there. Give me a second. I'll pause. I'll be right back with you. I got to go find me another flower. Okay, one more. Let's see if we can pull it off again. I found a flower that's got some little pink petals on it this time again. I'm not even sure what kind of plant this is, but I have a feeling they might like it better. Who knows? I'm just letting it fall all the way to the bottom. 
And I'm picking it up. Let it fall again. And I know, again, this, this, this cut-in bank like this is going to be a deep spot. Oh, well, there we go. That's a, that's a nicer fit. That's actually worth throwing on a, on a campfire if we were somewhere where the water was clean anyway. Uh, there you go. That's just a little bluegill. The last one was actually a pumpkin seed. I thought about that while I was out looking for another blossom. But there you go. Two fish on flower blossoms. And, uh, you know, here's the thing. I let both of those fish go. I don't want to eat any fish out of this water. But now that I've caught those two fish, I have not only protein I could be eating, but I have the remains that I could be using as bait. I also know there's some catfish in this creek. Uh, there's a little hole behind the camera back here where I can get down at it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rig up a different kind of fishing rig. You'll have to tune into the next video to see that. But I'll show you what to do with that parachute cord. And I'll be using the hot dog I brought along for bait simply because I don't want to kill any of these little guys out of this creek. There's no reason to do that. They're no good for eating. I'm not hungry or starving or anything like that. So check out the next video and we'll see if we can pull a catfish out of here next.